Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna learn all about ants. Ants are insects that live all over the world. They can be found in almost every habitat on Earth. A typical colony consists of a queen, or multiple queens. Male ants and female worker ants. The queen is responsible for laying eggs, and the males and females take care of the rest of the colony. Some species of ants have different types of workers, such as soldiers and slaves. Soldiers defend the colony from intruders, while slaves collect food for the colony. Red driver ant. Correct answer. D. Red driver ant. A. She is the biggest ant in the colony. B. Lays the eggs, but does not care for the young. C. She is responsible for defending the colony. D. She collects food for the colony. Correct answer! B. She lays the eggs, but does not care for the young. The queen is the only female in the colony that lays eggs. However, she does not take care of the young. That job is left to the worker ants. The red driver ant is the largest species of ant in the world. Ability to share information about food sources. Increased ability to gather food. All of the above correct answer. D. All of the above. A. To lay eggs. B. To collect food. To defend the colony. To build the anthill correct answer. C. To defend the colony. Soldier ants are responsible for defending the colony from intruders. They typically have larger bodies and stronger jaws than other ants in the colony. Living in a colony with other ants provides several benefits. For example, they are important pollinators for many plants. They can invade homes and businesses and can be a particular problem in areas where people store food. Ants can also be dangerous to humans in some cases. Some ants can bite or sting, while others can cause allergic reactions. And in rare cases, ants can carry diseases. Their habit of carrying dead insects and other organic matter back to their nest helps to recycle nutrients in the ecosystem. Their complex societies, incredible strength and adaptability make them a truly remarkable species. So the next time you see an ant, take a moment to appreciate the amazing insect that it is, and their presence can help to control populations of other insects. You can also check out our other videos, which are designed to help kids learn about the world around them in a fun and engaging way. Thanks for watching. First, ants are more likely to be protected from predators when they live in a group. Second, ants can share information about food sources. This allows the colony to exploit new food sources more quickly. Third, ants are able to gather food more efficiently when they work together. It can be found in Africa and can grow to be over three quarters of a meter long. There are over 12,000 species of ants and they come in many different shapes and sizes. A specialization, a specialization. Ants divide their labor among members of the colony through a process called specialization. Each ant performs a specific task such as laying eggs, collecting food or defending the colony. For example, leaf cutter ants can carry leaves that are up to 50 times their weight. A troube, they are one of the most widespread and adaptable insects on the planet. A pheromonis neurotransmitter cox answer. A pheromones, a mimicrib, camouflage egg, stink, sick. All of the above correct answer. D. All of the above. Ants have evolved a variety of defense mechanisms to protect themselves from predators. Some ants mimic the behavior of more dangerous ants in order to avoid being attacked. Other ants are camouflaged to blend in with their Still others can secrete a foul-smelling liquid to deter predators. Ants produce and release chemicals called pheromones that other ants can detect. Pheromones can convey information about food sources, alarm signals and other important information. This is because ants have a very high strength to weight ratio. In other words, 
They are relatively very strong. Ants also have a very high end and can run for long periods of time without getting tired. A high web N E S T C. Anthill de Baracorrect. Answer. C. Anthill. Despite their small size, ants are incredibly strong and can carry objects that are many times heavier than they are. For example, leafcutter ants can carry leaves that are up to 50 times their weight. An anthill is a structure that is built by ants to house their colony. It typically consists of a mound of dirt and other materials such as leaves and twigs. The anthill provides the ants with a place to live, raise their young and store their food. This is because they have a very efficient way of using energy. The smallest ant is only about one and a half millimeters long, while the largest can be over three quarters of a meter long. Some ants live alone, but many live with other ants. In large groups, called colonies, ants are incredibly strong and can lift objects that are many times heavier than they are. Ants are also very intelligent and can solve complex problems. For example, ants can navigate mazes and remember the location of food sources. I hope that you enjoyed learning about these amazing insects. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Now it's time for some fun. Get ready to test your knowledge with our amazing quiz. How many of these facts did you already know? They also have the ability to communicate with each other through chemical signals. This allows them to share information about food sources and other important things. Ants are also very adaptable and can live in a wide range of environments. They are also very good at working together and can build large and complex structures such as ants. They also have a very efficient way of gathering food and can quickly find and exploit new food sources. As we can see, ants are amazing creatures that have many impressive abilities. They are strong, fast, intelligent and adaptable. Question 1. What is the largest species of ant in the world? A bullet ant, leaf cutter antic, giant forest and question 2. Which of these statements is true about the queen ant? Question 3. What is the name of the chemical signals that ants use to communicate? Question 4. Which of these is an example of an ant defense mechanism? Question 5. What is the name of the structure that ants build to house their colony? Question 6. True or false? Ants can only carry objects that are smaller than their body. A. 7. Which of the following is a benefit of living in a group or colony with other ants? A protection from predators? Question 8. What is the main purpose of the soldier ants in an ant colony? Question 9. What is the name of the process by which ants divide their labor among members of the colony? Question 10. True or false? Ants are found on every continent on Earth. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And remember, stay curious. It is interesting to note that despite their small size, ants have a significant impact on the environment around them. However, ants can also be a nuisance to humans. Despite these drawbacks, ants are fascinating creatures that play an important role in the world around us. We hope that you enjoyed learning about ants. If you did, Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos for kids.